Alrighty guys here, welcome to yet another video. Today we are gonna talk about Raybots and simulating and more specifically show you how you can simulate your character and so you can know what the hell gear to equip and what stats you need. So I'll go through like the basis of simulation here if you want a more in-depth or maybe a video about how I do it more personally. If you want that, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more good content and check out the live stream over on uh, Twitch tv links to that as well as the gear i use and other things down below the video all righty so we are gonna take a look at the raid bot simulation here and how we can do it so what we're gonna do first is that we're gonna take some data from our character and put it in to raid bots so they can know what the hell they need to run the simulations on and the way we do this is that we download a little called simulation craft and you can download this from the Raypoos website or I'll link it down below here in the description. That I don't write, you're going to open it up by typing slash simc or click the circle up and near the minimum. And then you're going to get a window that looks like this, right? You're going to copy the uh, text in that and that contains the data of your character. And it's going to tell Raypoos what gear you have in your bags, your talents. And then we have this set up here, right? We have some iterations. That is the limit of the size of our simulation. If you want to run larger simulations, we can do that by subscribing to Raidbots and supporting their work. And once we have done that, right, we can then start to like pick out a gear we want to like test. So you have shown everything. You can also add legendaries and you can change up the targets. You can tell it to switch out things and tell it to run different enchants or talent builds. And you can set up these settings all the way down. All right. So when we look at the options here as well, uh, there is a ton of options down below once you'll be like, you build out, test it out, like, said, okay, these are the things I want to test, right? So the first option is the fight style. There's two main ones here you're probably going to focus the most on, and all depending on what you're going to do. So the two main ones are patchwork and dungeon slice. Uh, patchwork is the single target on just standing and hitting a raid boss, right? So if you're simulating for patchwork, you're gonna and just leave it all at default you're simulating your dps how it's going to be and what is going to be best for a fight where you're standing still hitting one target for five minutes you can change the fight length you can also change the build you can change the amount of bosses there are you can change the fight style as well as said to dungeon slice that simulates more of a mythic plus environment so you're pulling a bunch of mobs and cleaving a bunch of mobs and pulling a bunch of mobs and cleaving a bunch of mobs then you can figure out what is better to that what to doing that and so on and so forth you also have some more uh, options uh most of these here are like trinket based options so if you have a specific trinket and you want to like simulate it like for example so layers you can simulate which buffs you want for that or you can uh, change some iqd settings uh, so depending on your trinket you can also disable executes or you can set specific rate buffs whatever kind of rate buffs you might have uh, down there as well and it's just a great way to give like a whole of your character both as a default like cookie cutter build what do i want to pick or if you want to be more specifically let's say you're progressing a, a bit more hectic fight it could be for example all oh, pantheon pantheon is a great example here so Pantheon, there you have like your two targets, then you have two targets, then you have four targets, right? Which single target simulation isn't going to give a really good image of like how, what is good for me here. Although it's still going to give you point you in the right direction because what is best in general for your class. But however, you want to like change it up a bit as you're finding a different boss and stuff like that. This is some of the ways you can do that. And some of the tips here that I have for simulation craft users that are just starting out right take one part of your character at a time if you're going to simulate every day, single combination of almost every single piece of gear you have with almost every single talent combination you think could be viable or just simulate everything at once and replace everything it's going to be a hassle try and minimize it and try and just figure out okay which talents are best for me right now which here sets the best for me right now and try and like go okay we take what talents first most of the time you can look up what talents are best and then you can go over and just sim gear first and, and in itself then go back and send it to check if you're still running the best talents when you have the best gear 
Right, then go back and forth a bit. Uh, no need to, like, go back and forth, like, 17 times. But you could get pretty close to, like, to run those massive simulations. But it's definitely a creature comfort, and I, I enjoy just being able to just... I think this, 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 this is going to be good. Therefore, I'm going to use that, 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 that. And that really helps me out when I'm needing to sim. I got to run the simulation here, and once that is done, uh, we're going to go and take a look at the result. A few moments later. Alrighty here, so... Here we have the result of our simulations, right? I'm just going to go through the uh, final card here and show you like what you need to keep an eye out for. So right here we have the top gear. This is like your results. This is what you want to be playing. So here we have our Cosmic Gladiator leather belt. And that is highlighted because this is not something I currently had equipped. Right? It will also say you're currently equipped gear or your top gear. Which in many cases it might be. Because uh, who's lucky enough to get an upgrade these days? Am I right? All right, so we have our talents. We have also once we want to play these will also be highlighted if there's any changes, right? And over here, we have some details of the simulation. It's a five minute sim on one boss target. We have what buffs that we used. And that is pretty much everything. We have the when it was ran. We have the margin of error. We have the iterations. We have which belt it was made on. That's not so much important. Like the most important things are the buffs and the duration of the fight you want to keep into account. So on a five minute standing still hitting a bus fight with every single buff that I could possibly get, I should be hitting 14,960 PS. Down here, you can see there is uh, the different gears and the different uh, pieces. And it will also show the combinations and the differences in DPS that it uh, acquired, right? So, for example, if I want to run, run these two rings here, the uh, cash trinket and the file is actually a pretty major DPS loss. And always take simulations with a grain of salt. They are nothing more than simulations. And so you want to, like, sim your character, right? Because there are some trinkets and some talents that are completely simply bait. They perform really well in, in the simulations, but when it comes to a real world scenario, sometimes they just fall apart and are not as effective, right? So once you've done your simulations and you figured out, okay, this is kind of what the simulations they should play, go and check Warcraft Flux and just send it to check your results, and that will likely get you way further. So, guys, that is uh, going to be it here for this video here. I hope you liked and enjoyed it. And if you did like the video, I mean, you watched the show far, so why not give it a like? I know you enjoyed it. And leave a comment, subscribe for more content. Check out some of the other videos. We are having guides for melee classes. Currently, a lot of rogues guides. A Demon Hunter is coming up, and I'll be working on more melee class guides as well. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye.